Let the hunt begin. Victory or death! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That matchup is unlosable for me. Warrior versus warrior. I should win that 100% of the time. I can save the shield block shield slam for big bad scar. Nice. I probably should have considered hitting the mad scientist. However, it is not wrong to not hit the mad scientist. The mad scientist does nothing this turn. Uh, let's see. Probably should assume it's the freezing trap. I mean, I'm just going to sit still then. So, playing Karen will do nothing since Karen will just sit there also. So then, what does something? Armor Smith Ghoul, armor up. Armor made to fit. Scar. Alright, so definitely clear it with the shield block, shield slam. Kill one. I have discovered it is not snake trap. Okay, Harrison Jones. I was going to play Baron Geddon though. I wonder. But plans can change. Nah, the Baron Geddon play is too good. I I'll let him use one charge of the bow. This gets freezing trapped. This gets that. Baron Geddon. Uh, clears his board. Hard to beat that. Yeah! And in the case that it's explosive, this is good anyways. Due to the trap, he's guaranteed to at least do that much. I have opened the world of Unleash up to him, but he could have killed the Unstable Bull when he wanted to anyways. It seems okay, but I can't help but wonder if there was something better. I would. Death's bite to see if uh, it's explosive. It's a freezing trap. That belongs in a museum. Oops. 
so close to being able to use Tink Master. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I will crush you! Time for sure! Do do. Alright, the unstable ghoul makes it so that unleash is impossible, so that's good. So shield slam and then trade this stuff off. What are the chances you can kill me with three cards? Very slim. But should I not play this just in case? I bring life and it's like I could heal more, but 15 is out of reach. It's a lot of hunted creepers. Okay, yeah, eight, twelve, sixteen. Not quite. Probably enjoyed the greatest success by not playing anything, since it just creates another dog. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen! Oh, he didn't have enough room for dogs, anyways. Okay. Well played. Why? How can you still be so close to winning when I do everything I so well? Victory on death! I will crush you! Keep one of the death spikes. There's actually a number uh, of major. people who I've missed on the subscriber list. Uh, here's a general shout out. And I guess I'll have to take a look at this other screen instead. Uh, so thank you to Sue, Sue Mira, Big Jolly Bunny, Kevin the Purple, Wolf, and Gecko Pirate. Welcome to Valley Town. Thanks for joining. Alright, so I can coin Death's Bite. Or I can just accept that this is a slow game. You're playing the matchup wrong! Why are you playing the minions? You don't play the minions. Back to work! I guess you do if you're only going to go past us. Such reckless abandon. Wow, he's using Corcoran Elite. 
Is he gonna attack with his weapon? Oh my gosh. Yo, how dare you disrespect control versus control by throwing this Corcoran Elite in the mix. That is not cool, man. That is not cool. You're breaking the rules. Why don't you follow the rules? Alright, 2 4. No, I, I am going to need to shield slam this. But that's as simple as just uh, armor up, shield slam. Okay. Seven four. Scary. All right. How dare you make a mockery of this matchup? Um, that belongs in a museum. All right, I could hit his face and trigger the uh, gain two health, but I don't think I need it right now. And I've got sludge belters to protect me in the following turns. The only way I lose is Gromish inner five uh, inner thingamajiggy. Oh, we've got we've got the fuel fugian. Kind of creepy. Okay, I can kill the fugian, but that's probably not good. Oh, I should steal the fugian. Wait, can I do it this turn? I attack his face. I armor up, coin, and shield slam Sylvanas. That does work. I have no time for games. Story checks out. Nice, so aggressive. Hasn't anyone taught you how to warrior versus warrior? It's a gentleman's game. You can't rush like this. You'll waste all the fun. I actually have to shield block, because otherwise I could die to the Gromish. That's wasting a little bit of value. Good move. This is how the game is meant to be played. I'm even sufficiently... After that game where I got coin harrisoned, I'm gonna be like, okay, fine. I won't play the weapon. I have enough mana to play the weapon and then use it later. No need to save the two mana now, I think. Sebadam asks, why don't you play any minions early in a control warrior mirror? Well, the answer is, you get more value by playing them later, because if I play this, he can just fire a war axe and hit it. 
or death's bite and hit it. At a later time, you can trigger it off of your own so death's bite and so. I will get an ooze if I play Sylvanas. Don't really have another answer to it. I have no Fine. time for games. I think the most likely scenario here is I get one ooze. Which is not great for Sylvanas, but eh. Sometimes you have to not have the best answer. And I think shield slamming that is perhaps a bit much. But maybe it's the right play. Shield slam, fire wax, armor up. That is another line of play which could be legitimate. Alright, I'll do the expected play. That was an error. What? Why? It was not an error. Quiet, you. Let none survive. Oh, he has ten cards in his hand. Oh, there goes Alex Straza. Whoops. No point in me killing this slime because he's obligated to kill his own slime. I'll save Harrison. DW Dankworth asks, what are your thoughts on a card that could destroy your opponent's armor? I think that's very specific, you would hate against the warrior in specific. Uh, it's a very hard counter card. I think that might, I mean, it may or may not be good. It might be too hard of a counter. And I could see something damaging armor though, but removing it all, eh. Okay, one shield slam down. Hey, it's too bad your Alex Straza is dead. It's a pretty good card. Armor made to fit. Oh boy. Fun for all. I want to join in this fun. 3, 5, 10? Am I going to overdraw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll play 3 cards, I'll draw 3 cards, so it'll be good. I'm going to miss out on some damage on him, but it's okay. Let the pain oh, speak to me. This matchup feels a lot better when you're the one with a lot of armor. And health. Actually, he cannot do anything against my 30 health because there's no Alex Straza, so this is real health. It's pretty exciting. I'm actually fairly convinced he cannot win. But I shouldn't be overconfident. After all, I had a game where I won when it looked like I could not win. Right, what I can do, though, is trade health for cards really aggressively. Take seven? Sure. Anything for the value here. Save a shield slam. Death's Bite, Slam Cleave. 
Four, six, eight, and hero ability. Oh, I don't need. Yes, I do need to cleave. Wait a second. Oh, what if I? This entire thing has gone a bit wrong. Hmm. What I needed to do was... Actually, I'm not entirely sure, so... Hmm. I mean, that looks pretty good, but I think I could have done better. No, maybe not. I mean, I have these shield slams and executes and all that that I can use, but... I'm gonna really save those for the big game. Let the pain speak to me. I'm on the prowl for value. Shield slam the one on the left. If I don't stand the two cards, and all my armor plus health is real, how can my armor be real if this is control warrior versus control warrior? The loss of Alex Straza really changes the dynamic. It's actually quite interesting. I think I sh should shield slam. Wait, do I have lethal? No, I don't. It is 15 though. Wait, whoa, 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 no, no, that's not lethal. This is frustrating. This sludge belcher is frustrating. I must choose. I wonder. You are the fit to rule the war. The acolyte of pain is also frustrating. Okay, with acolyte out of the way. I'm now significantly happier. Oh man, I hope it's not a miracle. I haven't seen one of them forever. So I think I replace assuming it's... It's like, what can I really do against miracle? I'm not sure. So anyways, I mulligan assuming he was aggro. Wow. Lucky me. It's one of those like, well the matchup is so bad, it doesn't really matter what cards I have against Miracle. So I might as well mulligan against a aggro deck. Which I think is favored here, maybe. Maybe. Interesting. It was a pretty weak start from him. Coin Acolyte? Yeah. Since the next turn I can always armor up Shield Slam. This is our time, scrub. Yeah, beat it. Yeah, there's some aggro. Hold the line. Acolyte. Unstable ghoul. That's a good card. Though not yet. Patience. Hmm. 
felt like he had a slow start, but he was just sandbag in turn two, so turn three could combo to five string leader, which is pretty scary. In this matchup, Tinkmaster over Spark is pretty bad. So uh, if I can spend the next turn doing Tinkmaster armor up, that's probably good. I do need to armor up each turn, and I do need to kill this. Even though it's with the shield slam. 2, 3, and then I guess the only thing I can do is play Fiery War Axe. Tink Master Overspark. I have to hope he stalls out, and the cards I want quite badly are Sludge Belcher and Shield Block. That belongs in a museum. Come on, don't kill me. The light protects. All right, that's promising. Yeah, shield block. Okay, we're in business. This is the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Slam, shield, slam, whatever. Oh, another shield block. It may actually be worth trashing a card in order to armor up. Yeah, I mean, th this stuff. I can win the game with this stuff. I, I could draw no cards for the rest of this game and probably be good. So I should simply play as safely as possible. Ha, this guy's toast. Probably play Gromish. I'd like to armor up each turn, but killing the 3 3 equates to either Leroy plus Shadow Step right now, or Leroy, Cold Blood, etc., or I win. Okay. Victory is mine. Probably. Gosh, banana lethal. <laughs> 